Hi guys, what's up? Welcome, how are you? For today's video, I have something pretty fun and pretty different to share with you all. So this video was actually created by Emily Noel. I'll go ahead and have her channel linked down below if you guys wanna check her out. If you go and check her out, definitely let her know that I sent you. But basically a few days ago, she made a video called What's in my $1,000 Sephora Fantasy um, Basket? I think it's a tag, so yeah, I'm following along in her footsteps. The whole idea of this video is that if you would have a thousand dollars to just spend if money wasn't an object let's say and you just you had a thousand dollars you know what i'm saying what would you pick up from sephora and honestly i came up with i don't know like 25 ish items like this it really wasn't hard for me to choose stuff so i want to go through all the items to share with you guys what i chose and also share with you guys the prices of everything everything ended up being i want to say a thousand and ten dollars but with tax and everything would probably be like 1100 you know new york taxes and all that but this is like without taxes type of thing. Also, I would love for you guys to be a part of this. So definitely let me know in the comments below what products you would choose to purchase for a thousand bucks. Let's get started. So Fenty recently released these little slip shine sheer shiny lipsticks retailing for $22 each. I feel like it's kind of up there, but they look amazing. The packaging is outstanding. There are a bunch of shades in the line and this is definitely one of the items that I would put in my cart like to buy. So the shade I would think, I think I would pick up is 01 Quartz Candy. It's a clear with pink iridescent. I, the reason why I picked this one up is because I feel like it would be the most neutral, lightish type of shade. I can see what the formula is like and then kind of take it from there. Also, I feel like it would be really pretty on its own as a sheer wash of something, but I think it would look so good if you wear it on top of a lipstick. It'll just take your lipstick game to the next level. So that is the first item that I would definitely pick up. Then I would pick up the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Matte Bronzer. This is retailing for $55. I've been wanting this for such a long time, but then I'm like, okay, not yet. But then I'm like, okay, maybe I'm like, not yet. I don't know what I'm waiting for. If I'm waiting for a Sephora VIB sale or something, if I'm waiting to finish off another bronzer or what. I love Charlotte Tilbury products to the most part, and this right here just looks like it's no exception. I know that the, the compact is also really, really large, so you do get a lot for the money. And yeah, it's just definitely one that I would pick up pronto. The next thing I think I would definitely pick up is this from Too Faced. It's retailing for $38, and it's the Beach to the Streets makeup set. I'm not gonna lie. I want this for the bag. It's just so cute. It's so different than anything that I have. And I feel like I'd get a ton of use out of it. It comes with the chocolate matte bronzer, a lip injection gloss, and then a Too Faced Better Than Mascara in waterproof. I would use those products. I do actually own the chocolate matte bronzer, but I mean, I could use a backup because I really love it so much. But yeah, I would mainly purchase it for the bag. Um, and then all the goodies on the inside would be an additional. I know it's kind of like, what are you saying? $38 for a bag, especially if it's plastic like that. Like, is it worth it really? But yeah, I don't know. I'm just feeling it. Then I think that I would pick up the uh, Fresh Rose Petal Soft Deep Lip Balm. This is $24. It looks amazing. It's one of the newer products that Fresh recently released. Now, with this one, I feel like I didn't pick it up yet because I have a decent or an over, you know, flooded amount of like lip balms, lip treatments, all of that. So I don't need to have it this second. But if money wasn't an object... I would totally purchase this like ASAP just because I don't know then I would totally 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 pick up this little kit here by drunk elephant this is called the littles head to toe kit so it basically comes with a bunch of products retailing for $49 what we get in here is a shampoo conditioner happy scalp scrub a tangle spray a cream body cleanser body lotion and then a deodorant plus the neon bag and a really cute comb for $49 I think it's just priced pretty well Everything is just like so cutesy. I love that all these products are made without paraben and sulfates and it's definitely a kit I would pick up in a heartbeat. Then I would totally pick up a few items from Tatcha. Tatcha is a brand that I really love but I haven't really tried, I would say, way too much from them. But, you know, if money wasn't an object and I can, you know, purchase whatever I want, then this is what I would pick up. I would definitely pick up the Deep Cleansing Exfoliator. Um, the five ounce size is $38. I actually tried this for the first time in my sister-in-law's house. I want to say about a month and a half ago. She had like very little left. So she's like, you could try it if you want. I did. And I was like, what's going on over here? This is amazing. One of the best exfoliators that I've ever tried in my life. And I feel like I really need to have it in my life. It's probably one that I will purchase sometime very soon. I have a few cleansers and exfoliators to go through. So I don't want to buy it just to buy, just to have sitting. But yeah, definitely would purchase this in a heartbeat. Then I would definitely pick up the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. So I had this in a deluxe size and absolutely fell in love. This small one is 20 bucks and the 1.35 fluid ounce size bottle is $48. I would pick up the full size for sure. Um, I have a decent amount of mists to go through. So it's not one that I need like now. 
but it's been on my mind for such a long time this makes my face look so beautiful so dewy so refreshed and so glowy i will say sometimes it could go a bit overboard if i will use way too much sprays it literally looks like my face is um like drowning in oil i kind of like that sometimes though you know what i'm saying not necessarily drowning you know what i mean it just looks like a bit much but i feel like if i use it sparingly the glow it gives is like no other that i've tried i love so many other mists but the way this makes my face look it looks like i have oily skin it just looks good so yeah definitely would purchase that for sure then i would go ahead and purchase the gucci flora emerald gardenia perfume the full size of this is 80 dollars. this is a perfume that i smelled during the sephoria event last year and i think it came out during that time i absolutely felt it smelled so good. It's been on my wish list for such a long time. I don't necessarily need to have it in my life in general, but at this point especially too. So I'm not like running to get it, but yeah, I would just I would totally pick this up. It smells amazing. It has a bomb reviews on Sephora's site at a four star. People are loving it. The bottle is really beautiful and it really just smells like out of this world next i would pick up this perfume i feel like it would be a good time to pick up perfumes if i just had that thousand dollars right so this is a carolina herrera good girl perfume my sister-in-law has this i smelt it the first time in her house and i'm like whoa sold then i purchased a little duo with this perfume and a other a different small one <clears throat> which retailed for 20 dollars. i didn't love it so much i mean i love the scent but i didn't like the packaging because it was the type that you had to like pour out and put on it wasn't like a spray so it was kind of annoying to use from time to time but i know that i love this i would totally purchase the full size of this 96 dollars Besides for it smelling beyond, beyond amazing, the vibe of this is on another level. I love that it's in a stiletto shape and I don't know, it just adds like a coolness, a cuteness to any space it's added to and I feel like I need to have that in my life. I'm obsessed with the scent. I def definitely need to get it like sometime soon. Then I have a few products here from Charlotte Tilbury that I definitely would pick up. This is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Um, it's retailing for $44. <clears throat> And I heard nothing but amazing things about this. People are obsessed with this. They say it's a perfect go-to day-to-day foundation. I don't know if I have a perfect go-to day-to-day foundation because not always do I want a full coverage look. I want something that's gonna, that's gonna you know allow my face to breathe, but have somewhat pretty decent coverage, but won't look like I'm really wearing foundation. And I just feel like this is pretty much the answer to all of that as I hear. So I would definitely pick that up. I would also love to pick up the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. Again, with this, I heard nothing but amazing things about this. I do like to cream contour. The few cream contouring products that I have, I do like. But I feel like this would just take it to the next level. Also, something that would be really nice for like a day-to-day -day natural kind of look where it doesn't look like you really contoured, but you kind of did. I don't know. I know I can kind of work it with my other contouring products, but... I just want this. It just looks so good. $38. There are two sheets in the line. It has like a spongy applicator to it and it just looks really, really good. I know I don't need it because I have, like I said, a few other ones, but this is really like calling me to be honest with you. And then I would totally, totally, totally pick up this from Pat McGrath. It's the Mothership V111 or III palette. I don't know Roman numerals too well. I don't know. Just never really got that into it, I guess, but maybe I should educate myself. I should probably. Anyway, this is the this is the Divine Rose um, two palette. It's from the Divine Rose two collection. It's the new palette that she released. It's been in my wishlist for such a long time. I do have one other Pat McGrath palette. It's so nice. Whoa, like really really nice. I think that the shades in here are outstanding, especially that like really cool green, reddish, orangey type of shade, like so cool. This is hundred and twenty five dollars. That's why I didn't like jump on it like right away. But yeah. I would totally get this in a heartbeat if money wasn't enough. Okay, then I spoke about these blushes actually in my Yes No Maybe So video yesterday. I mentioned that I did want it. So I would totally pick up one of the Patrick Top blushes. The one that I'm thinking of is She's That Girl. This duo is just so nice. It has like a really just gorgeous like fiery reddish tone to it. And I'm obsessed. I'm dying to try out his formula. Like I said yesterday, also the packaging looks really cool. I like that it's a two-in-one situation. The reviews are literally outstanding. Your girl needs this ASAP. Then I would totally, totally pick up the Tarte Sea Breezy Cream Bronzer. Again with the cream bronzer. I don't know. Maybe it's a summer thing. I'm not sure. I feel like I need to have all the cream bronzers in the world. Um, so I would get the small size of this. It's $14. Bucks. Um, if you get the full size, it's $29. But the small one is fine. Save myself you know, about like $13 there. But yeah, this, looks, this just looks really good. I haven't tried 
anything newish from Tarte, I would say, in a while. So this definitely intrigues me. I like that it's also clean at Sephora. It seems really nice. The reviews look amazing. I feel like it would be also a very easy product to use to so just dip your brush in there and kind of cream contour with. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm really wanting that. <laughs> also, the packaging is a really beautiful mint green color. Then the next thing that I would totally pick up is this from Ilia. So this is the Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40 Foundation. This is a foundation that I wanted for such a long time, honestly. Um, it's mainly because one of my subscribers, Izzy, you guys know her, I think. I mentioned her a few times here, but it's because she purchased it a while ago and she mentioned to me how she loves it. It's great for dry skin. I haven't tried anything from Ilia, so I was like, yeah, I would love, love, love to, to try this. There are so many reviews at a four star on Sephora site. It's $46, so definitely pretty up there. I think that maybe once I do my foundation declutter video, which should hopefully be coming very soon, um, I'm going to really be able to see like what I really, really use, what I really love, what I want to add to my collection, and you know, what I'm going to be decluttering, all of that. But yeah, I think that once that whole thing happens, the, the declutter, I'll be able to add more foundations in my to, into my collection in an easier way, not just purchase to purchase and then kind of shove it behind the drawers. Sometimes I need it, I don't know. But yeah, this is one that I need to need to have in my life soonish because I feel like it would be a great summer foundation. And then I also mentioned these in yesterday's video, my yes, no, maybe so video. I mentioned that I wanted to pick up all of the Natasha Denona lip glosses as part of the bronze collection. But I think that if I would narrow it down to one, I'd probably just choose a nude shade. I don't know. I'm very, okay, baby. I'm very, very into nude shades. You guys know this. And the shade uh, Tan Nude just looks so pretty. It would go with anything. You could throw it on, you know, run with it. Or, you know, use it if you're doing a more in-depth, dramatic type of look. It would just, it's just perfect. And it looks like the formula is outstanding. So your girl needs that. $26. All right, we're almost done here. The next thing that I would definitely pick up is this Tower 28 blush. Tower 28 is a brand that I'm slowly getting into. I love their Claire Gloss. I've been obsessed with that for such a long time already. Since I purchased from during the Sephora VIB sale, I guess. Two months? Yeah, it's really good. So a lot of you guys actually told me they have amazing blushes, so thank you so much for letting me know. I really wasn't really that aware. Their blushes retail for $20 each. There are three shades in the line. They all look stunning. I'd probably pick up the shade Golden Hour. It's a sun-kissed orange. Orange. I say orange. I don't know. Right? It's orange. Um. Anyways, I would pick up the sun-kissed orange shade because it, it just would look so like effortless and very very like i don't know it would just look like the sun literally just uh, burnt your skin but in a good way i don't know i feel like it would kind of look cute so yeah i would totally pick that up for 20 bucks i think it's not bad at all then the next thing that i have here is the hourglass vanish seamless seamless stick foundation wow can i speak today i don't know this is a foundation that I wanted for the longest time. The longest time. $46. I know I don't need it. I hear only amazing things about it. Um, especially um, those who have dry skin constantly rave about this foundation. And I really want it. I, I don't know. But then sometimes I'm like, but it's $46. And I know it doesn't come with a ton of product. So yeah, I've been holding off on this one. But it is always on my mind. And I just, I can't seem to purchase it. But just, there will be a day sometime soon that I'll be like, yep. Now is the time to shine. So yeah, that's definitely something that I need to get. <laughs> need to. I would also like to pick up the Vanish Airbrush Concealer by Hourglass. This is $34. It's so pricey for a concealer. I don't know. Like even $22 is kind of up there. Um, but $34 is like, whoa. Like a foundation is usually that price. With this one also, amazing reviews. I heard nothing but fabulous things about this. Um, if it can help with like my fine lines under my eyes. If it can make it look, you know, seamless. Vanished airbrushed i'm about that kind of life and then finally i would absolutely love to pick up this right here from youth to the people i love this brand everything that i've tried from them was amazing so far so it's actually a product that i haven't heard much people talk about but i was just like uh looking at the youth to the people products a few days ago and i was like you know what i would love to try this um, it's 44 dollars. it's called the super berry hydrate plus glow oil i'm very into oils i love using oils as like my primer before i put on um foundation or sometimes i'll just use a foundation and a primer I, because i have such dry skin i find that using an oil prior to putting on foundation just makes my face look much better you know what i mean i don't know i did that today too i feel like i have just this glow going i don't know maybe not <laughs> so anyways this looks really good this is pretty much at a five star almost 800 reviews it says here it's for dryness, dullness, and uneven texture. I do have dullness at times, so it could be beneficial. So it's an ultra-enriched, flash-absorbing face oil pack with rare super berry antioxidants that leave the skin velvety, soft, hydrated, and glowy. That's pretty much it. Those are the few-ish... <laughs> 
items that I would totally pick up if money wasn't an object and I could just spend a thousand dollars just cause. So yeah, I really enjoyed making this. Definitely let me know what you guys thought of my picks. Let me know what you guys have on your list. And yeah, I'm looking forward to reading your comments down below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.